Hi guys, it's Luz again with a short video about Hastas. About five years ago, I decided to invest in this plant because it comes back every year. I did a little research about the plant and I'm going to keep walking because I want to show you my other Hastas over here. I uh, started doing research and I find out they're actually, they brought here as an edible. They are from Asia and you can eat them. They're from the family of the asparagus. Look at this beautiful baby. And I don't know the name of any of my hostas. I just know that they're beautiful and then they come back every year. And I'm sorry, I don't want to get you dizzy. Let me go down here. Let me show you this other beauty. Look at how beautiful this one is. And then I have this one over here. And I have this ones over here. I bought this one like three years ago, like for buck fifty at the end of the season. And look at how beautiful they're doing. I'm gonna keep on walking. And I am sorry. I wish I have an equipment that I can edit the video, but I don't. So here are more hastas. This one I bought I bought a hasta in one of those garden centers. And the hasta came with a bunch of little babies. So I planted them. And then I transferred them to the ground. And it took three years, but they're doing really nice. Oh, my goodness. That's a beautiful black butterfly. Oh, thank you for joining us. Wow, you're gorgeous. Okay, and so I have this other hasta over here. And I, and I noticed... Um, when I was um, looking at my hostas today that I do have a pattern. I kind of buy them in two. So they have like sisters. Okay, so let me go over here. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. I, like I say, I don't know the name of them. I just know that they're beautiful. They come back every year. All I have to do is water them, give them a little love. I um, spray them with a solution of water and uh, Epsom salt, a gallon of water to um, one tablespoon of Epsom salt. I mean, you can try that, but first try it in one leaf because I don't know your climate. So just try one leaf and if doesn't, nothing happens to your hostas, then you can use that solution. Um, it works for me. Okay, I'm in the Atlantic County. So it does work um, wonderful for my hostas. And this one is her other sister right here. Beautiful. And this one, this one has like a golden color. Look at how pretty. And I don't know if I say this, but I think they're from the family of the um, asparagus. And then that's it. Beautiful hostas. Uh, also, if you don't want bugs to eat your hostas, you can make a solution of water and Castilian soap, or you can use Dawn Blue soap, but not other type of dish soap. They have to be eat those two. A gallon to a teaspoon and spray your plants with it. Bugs don't like it, and it doesn't harm the plant. But again, try it in one leaf, or just in case. I don't want you to be mad at me if you kill your hostas. And then that's it. Oh, wait, I have one more. This was my first hostas. And they're probably like 10 years old. And last year, I cried a lot when the deers came and ate my hostas. That's why I have all those marigolds around them. Because they're like my little soldiers protecting my hostas from the deers. And so far, so good. And when I tell you guys I cry, I cry. And when I first got this, I didn't know what a hasta was. But I was so happy that they keep coming back every single year. And with this, I'm going to end my video. Thank you for watching. Bye.